Diane, my wife and I, have been attending St. Mark's for 36 plus years. Our children were baptized at St. Mark's. Both kids sang in the youth choir, both kids were acolytes. They were both married at St. Mark's. Two of our grandchildren have been baptized here. I come from a relatively large family and was raised in the Episcopal Church, along with three brothers and my sister. So why am I talking about my family? Because St. Mark's is also my family. Over the past 36 years, I've been inspired, lifted up, mentored, laughed, and cried with my St. Mark's family. Diane and I are among those who have heard all of St. Mark's rectors preach, going back to Albert Johnson. I tell you the following, not to be boastful, but because these things have given me a wealth of learning experiences and great relationships. I have been senior warden twice. I've been junior warden twice. I've been on search committees for rectors, assistant rectors, and interim rectors. I've built benches, I've painted walls, I've assembled desks, I've mopped floors in the parish hall along with others at two in the morning. Currently, you can see I'm one of a team of vergers. I serve on coffee hour once per month. This is my week, so after the service, I'll be washing dishes in the kitchen. There are many, many people at St. Mark's who do even more. In my work life, I'm a social worker. I've worked for 43 years in the community mental health field. In spite of how much I love the work my agency does, I get very tired and frustrated at things out of my control, which seems to happen more and more. Three things lift my spirits. Being with family, which especially includes playing with my grandchildren, riding my bicycle, and being here at St. Mark's. I love being a virgin. I like orderliness and things running smoothly. In a small way, I hope my role as virgin helps the worship move efficiently with relatively few distractions. For the past few years, I have read, really enjoyed the adult education programs. In my hectic, task-oriented daily work life, <laughs> adult education gives me a chance to step back, listen, and think. Things I do not do enough of. Diane and I have made a pledge every year since we started attending St. Mark's. Pledging is extremely important as it allows this parish to operate and plan. Pledging pays the salaries of staff, Paul, Christopher, Matthew, Tyler, and Melanie. Pledging turns on the lights, the heat, the air conditioning. In addition to pledging, Diane and I contribute in some way to every special project and fundraiser that arises. Spaghetti dinners for the youth group, trips to Guatemala, youth choir to D.C., and the organ. Yes, Diane and I pledged to the organ completion fund, and we bought pipes, and we bought more pipes, and we contribute in collection plates for special music. Diane and I met at college. We had the same piano teacher. Music has been and will remain an important part of our life. In my opinion, the music program at St. Mark's is top notch. It enhances my worship and inspires me and lifts me up. One small example of living generously. When we give to special projects, it is often more than the cost of the event. For example, if the spaghetti dinner for the youth group costs $5, I'd probably kick in 10 or 20, even if I don't stay for the meal. Why? I don't go to youth group and my kids are grown. 
I contribute because the youth and young families are important to me, and the youth program is important to them. They are part of my St. Mark's family. This St. Mark's experience is not about me, it's about us. Our relationship with God and with each other. The Silliman Pledge has been increasing steadily over the past few years. Our plan for 2017 is to increase our pledge amount by at least 20% over our 2016 pledge. I hope you will join Diane and me and prayerfully and generously increase your pledge for 2017. In closing, when I'm in my role as virgin and I'm standing in the back of the church just before the processional starts, I say to myself the opening of one of my favorite songs. Be joyful in the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. And come before his presence with a song. Thank you.